Government forecasters predicted today we could see the return this year of the weather system known as El Nino, and it could bring much needed rain to the west. 95% of California is in drought, and Ben Tracy tells us some scientists are now warning of a mega drought. Scientist Lynn Ingram uses sediment cores inside these tubes to study the history of drought in the west. How far back in history can we go? Well, we've taken this record back about 3,000 years. That record shows California is in one of its driest periods since the year 1580. We think of a three to five year drought as being a long drought. Historically, is that a long drought? And historically, if we go back, you know, several thousand years, we've seen that droughts can last over a decade, and in some cases they can last over a century. The evidence of these so-called mega droughts is found in San Francisco Bay. Ingram and her team at the University of California, Berkeley, removed the sediment from the bay in nearby marshes. So when we go through periods of drought, what do you notice in the sample? What you notice is that the vegetation shifts to more salt tolerant. Type vegetation. That's because during drought, there is less fresh water runoff into the bay. Tree rings on ancient tree stumps tell the same story, narrow or non-existent rings during decades of drought. These patterns tend to repeat themselves. I mean, we can, we can expect that this will happen again. Scientists say their research shows the 20th century was actually one of the wettest centuries in the past 1300 years. During that time, we built massive dams and rerouted rivers. We used abundant water to build major cities and create a $45 billion agriculture industry in a place that used to be a desert. Even after several inches of rain last week, the drought continues. Ingram believes the state should be prepared for that eventual 100-year-long dry period. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Berkeley, California.